Okay, this video will have a quick look at the latest version of MemoQ, MemoQ 6.2, or more precisely, MemoQ 6.2.1, which was released today, November 15, 2012. Now, one new feature we can notice on the dashboard is a new icon in, on the toolbar, and that icon is the Zen. And it has two options, Go Zen and Mostly Silent, and I will now activate the first one, so we'll go Zen. Okay, I hope you liked it. If you are into new age, you'll probably enjoy this kind of stuff. So I'll now end it, mostly silent. And the second new feature in the dashboard is on the lower part, uh, the import SDL Studio package option, which is uh, similar to the existing import transit package. But uh, the difference is that it applies to studio packages. As it happens, I have a sample studio package on my desktop, so let's import it. I click on import STL studio package, and it's on desktop, and it's here. Open, and uh, uh, the name of the project will be the name of the package by default, uh, click on next. Here I have uh, all kind of uh, options that I can uh, use to configure the import process, but I will accept the defaults and uh, finish. And now I have my SDL XLIF document extracted and uh, it shows in translations uh, as a document to be translated. Okay, before opening this uh, SDL XLIF document, uh, let's uh, uh, move to a new feature called Muses. And Muses is this new icon uh, that appears after term bases. And uh, Muses are a kind of uh, source of inspiration for translators who use uh, MemoQ. So let's click on Muses and we don't have any muses for the time being, but let's create one. Let's call it my muse. And the way it works, uh, we have here a number of uh, TMs. So first we have the studio demo TM, and then I have a few TMs of my own, not that many because this is not my main working language pair, but I'll select all these TMs here and we'll be able to create from them this uh, new Muse. There are two settings that we can use to tweak the process. First is sensitivity, which uh, varies from 5 to 25. And the second one is precision, which varies from 0 to 100. I will be using the default 5.0, but probably if uh, we were dealing with much larger material, we would per perhaps need to increase these uh, values. This is very similar to the dictionary creator, auto-suggest dic dictionary creator in uh, Studio, except that we don't have any constraints of uh, size, uh, even with uh, small TMs, we can already create a Muse in MemoQ. So let's press on Start. 
and uh, as you can see the the size of the TMs that I'm using there are only a few thousand so in total less than uh, 10,000 units uh, which is much less than the minimum required in studio for creating uh, auto-suggest dictionary. Let's wait until the creation process is ready. Okay, now we are we have uh, our muse, so I will enable it, and uh, I will move back to translations. Now I can open this document for translation, and I can see that I have a few segments. Some of some of these segments have been translated already. Uh, one has even been locked, and there are a few left that we have to translate. So let's see with the first segment uh, how this new feature, uh, the Muse, works. And it's related to predictive typing. So if in French I need to write TA dash, it already appears here, so I just uh, accept it. Same with document, DOC, document and so on, or translation, traduction, T-R-A, here. So it's uh, even if these uh, words were not in uh, uh, any term base, I can type them with predictive typing because they are in my muse. Uh, the muse also works with words or expressions that are in a term base, such as here, control plus enter, which is in French, control plus entrée, uh, which is highlighted in uh, light blue. I can use the uh, predictive typing with that. So if I uh, type CT, I already get my French equivalent, control plus entrée. So that's uh, one way to uh, use uh, uh, predictive typing now with the Muse. Now, if we move to segment number five, we have a number of uh, terms that were recognized from our term base suggestions, verification, and so on. And uh, they appear here in the translation results. And uh, now a new way to copy them to the target segment, instead of using control one and control two and control three and so on as before, we can use a new feature called uh, autopic. And autopic is an extension to uh, predictive typing. So it's found here in translation predictive typing and autopic, so it's a new option. It's the second tab here. It's enabled by default. And what it does is that it allows you to pick up items like uh, terms from uh, term base, but also words that are written in capital letters or email addresses, numbers, and so on. So the kind of items that before you, will o you were only able to copy to the target uh, segment uh, if you had created uh, rules for them. So let's see how the feature works in practice. So here, if I want to type uh, the equivalent of suggestions and verification and so on, instead of uh, pressing Control-1, Control-2, I will just press Control, and then I get this uh, uh, list, and I can pick up the first one. If I press Control again, I will get the same list, but the words that was already copied is no longer there, so I can uh, I get uh, verification, and so on. So if I press one, one more time, I can choose for up and down uh, arrows, flèche haut et bas, or flèche de direction, so I'll pick up this one. And uh, again, uh, if I press one more time, I will get tab, and tab is not in uh, my term base, but since it's uh, written in capital letters, it's uh, recognized as a placeable, so I can just copy it this way, and so on. And same with uh, the control plus enter, I can just press uh, control, and I will get it here. So we saw three new features of uh, MemoQ 6.2. First, uh, the Zen. Second, the import of uh, SDL Studio packages. And third, the Muse. And also the Autopic feature, which, like the Muse, relates to predictive typing. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.